and uh, now we can move to the next presentation, which is on the infrastructure committee. So Marcus, Bradke, Marcus, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Felix. Um, starting my screen. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, good Great. evening. Good evening, everybody from Potsdam, Germany. I'm Markus Bratke. I'm the coordinator of the infrastructure committee of the IGS, and I'm working for GFZ in Potsdam. Um, first of all, I'd like to give you a quick overview of um, what our tasks are and what we are doing. So we are basically a forum of professionals. Um, we have network and station operators um, in our panel, data center and GNSS IT professionals, and ex-official members. That means chairs and coordinators from other IGS working groups. Um, we develop policies, standards, guidelines, and recommendations for the community. And we maintain and improve the GNSS data and information systems upon which the IGS product quality and responsiveness relies on. And we ensure the overall effectiveness um, of the IGS service. So to our progress uh, in the last year, so we, we held four IC meetings over the year and we co-coordinated the two of the IGS, the second stop infrastructure in cooperation with the central bureau. Um, we implemented um, a better coordination between other networks uh, like EPN or APROF and SERGAS for new station proposals. Um, you heard earlier from David Maggot that we have a review panel um, that deals with new station proposals. Um, we also created approval forms for a better traceability of de uh, decisions why we include new stations. Um, we coordinated um, to provide coordinate solutions for all the IGS stations in the IGS final together with Paul Rebischung. You also heard that earlier. And we performed a little bit of a cleanup over the year where we uh, reached out to long-term absent stations and asked why um, what, what's the status of their um, data transmission. Um, we also started to implement Geodesy ML um, on the one hand on the IGSCB level, on the other hand at GFZ. And we established a task team to implement new features into the current standard that you can find in Geoscience Australia's uh, GitHub repository. Um, we also um, created and updated uh, um, IGS guidelines. On the one hand, the IGS course, so the continuously operating reference stations. Um, these guidelines are still in review, but in a, in a pretty good state. And we published the IGS real-time stations and data center guidelines. Um, first under IGS executive committee approval. And we, I, I guess that the final approval will come tomorrow at our governing board meeting. So the IGS of the future. Um, first of all, we want to get uh, Geodesy ML and uh, the next SLM, so the next site log manager ready to launch next year. We want to develop more and more service-based applications um, for metadata handling and for quality checks. Um, yeah, we coordinate the publication, uh, publication of guidelines and we want to provide easy access to those. Um, we will support a, a fast transition to Rhinox 4 through all, GI, through all IGS instances and beyond. So not just for the IGS, but also for the, the whole um, community of users that um, deals with our data. Um, you will hear about Rhinox 4 in a minute from Nacho. 
Uh, we want to increase the number of multi GNSS and real time station stations by active outreach. Um, an example is that we, uh, we, we currently have 12 UNAFCO stations uh, proposed that we want to include as soon as possible. Um, we want to provide uh, support to station operators in the less represented regions to build capacity and capability. And we want to provide better quality monitoring uh, of IGS stations. So, yeah, that's all from my side. Uh, thanks. Thanks to you, Marcus. Um, uh, I don't see any question. My 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 comment, my only comment would be that I'm I'm, I'm just impressed. I mean, you jumped it to into the the infrastructure committee uh, chair role uh, quite uh, recently even to less uh, a year or so and uh, I'm, uh, I'm i'm sure i'm not the only one to be impressed by all the work um, that has been done so yes thanks to you